Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So I spent most of the day yesterday driving back home to get our freaking key card. So I got two red and a bunch of these ones. Uh, we have we have a bunch more in reserve. I don't think I'll need, I think it's just the green one I need. Um, but we got a lot of blue, a lot of green. We got a few extra red. I just brought them just in case. Restocked on gas. Um, I sold a bunch of stuff on the way back, stop off at Joel's. Apparently, where we're going, um, if we go south, follow the road along, uh, make sure we hit the proper turn off, go to where Jen is, head back out this way, head all the way up here, all the way along here, go to where Joel is. Where we want to be is like right in here. It's like right next to Joel. So that's bonus, because then we all we have to do is drive back up to Eve and, and uh, turn the quest in. Uh, and I think she tells us where the end game bunkers are, which we already know. It's like there's like one like right here, I think, and then there's another one right here. So we know where those are, but we're gonna pull off this other mission first. I'm hoping to get the multi tool out of this. I think, I think this one's got a lot of um, workbenches in it. I also made a uh, turbo mod because driving back was like ridiculous, and now since the map is loaded. Because I'm playing back to back with the last episode. Yeah, so they'll, there's a lot of these uh, laser workbenches, I think, in the place that we're going. So hopefully it's got a multi-tool in it, I really hope. I know that this place that we're going to, actually let's get a little bit more coil ammo, has got, um, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four thousand, two hundred rounds. Should be enough. I know the place that we're going has got, um, spawners in it so that the zombies will respawn. If we want to farm XP there we could do that too. Let's gas up. Let's go ahead and drop actually let's not drop these guys. Let's just hold on to them. I'm just worried that some shit's gonna happen to the bike. Uh open. Drop you in there. Close. Alright. Got our light on here. Turn ourselves around. We still have to work on the farm too. I think I was remembering. All right, let's see how fast this is. So this is normal speed, which looks like to be about the same as the turbo or the uh, fast speed before the mod is installed. So now if I, it's the same whether I'm hitting turbo or not. I don't know, it feels a little, I guess it feels a little faster. All right, well, I'll see you when we get out there. One thing I will say about the turbo mod though, it makes the bike a little more unwieldy on corners. So you gotta be careful that you don't uh, kind of go flying around a corner or skid and then fly off, the <laughs> fly off the road. So as long as you're aware of that when you're running the turbo, you should be fine. All right, this is our turn off right here that we missed last time. We're not missing this time. All right, well, there's the morning chime. So we've driven through the night. We're almost all the way back. We're just at the burn biome now. Should be able to quickly blow through this. I noticed on the way back, there was a fork here that we can go up, I think, to that town that we originally saw just up north of here. Uh, where is the fork? It's just up, like it was hidden. So I think it's, oh, well, that's a hole. Um, I think it was just up here. Yeah, right here. So we can go north there if we wanted to. We're gonna head this way. Finding the turbo is actually not that bad. Like I watch people play with it online and they seem to be like they wobble back and forth like this a fair bit. But I'm finding that if you if you kind of go really smooth with the mouse and take your, your finger off your turbo um, or your speed boost, whatever key you've got set for that, uh, at key moments when you're hitting hard corners, you don't lose control at all. Like you just really have to like ease into the turn and ease out of the turn. So when you see it coming, just prepare for it. You know? Like if I left my finger on the turbo there, I would have probably like flown off the road and everything, but you just take your finger off and you're good to go. All right, so our buddy's like right over here. 
and where we want to go is just past that so let's just blow by him stopped here yesterday I mean he might have some stuff for us but I doubt it not really finding it lag 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 fingers off the keys what if it's spawning that bunker or just spawning zombies maybe All right, so it's just in here we want to go. There should be a well. There it is. Cool. Turn the bike around. I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff into the bike. That we don't need on us. So let's... Oh, that's they're spawning inside already. Cast the bike up. I thought the zombie was behind me, but it's actually inside. All right, we want to make sure we keep those on us those on us we need those that we don't need that we can leave here for now uh we need one of these guys down we'll find out which one it is first all right here we go yeah so i thought that had a metal top to it all right well Oh, they're breaking shit already. So is this a blue door? What is this? Um, let's find out. I don't think the door opens right away. I take one of these first. That's oh, green. There we go. I think it just unlocks it. And then we can just open it up and rinse these clowns. So now we can just like... I'm gonna go ahead and... So that's the spawner that I know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's grab this. Do these doors... Okay, they're gonna be spawning around the back. Come on, buddy. As long as we limit it to, uh, these guys might be able to farm them for pages. So the what we need is in there. Right, let's just scrap these up. Don't know how many spawners are in here. I think it's like three or four. Let's do a clear here first. Oh! Hey you. Oh, right here. Heads up. Yeah, like we could take these lockers apart. There's the stuff that might have. That's the spawner. Oh, you got stuck. That's not good. Alright, so these things here, I think, are the ones that might have... Ooh, red pages. Scrap that. Alright, let's go ahead and use one of these guys, too. Just so that we're topped up here. Now, I think this... Is there anything in here? I don't know if there's a max... That's the washroom. Max number of zombies that can be alive at one time. Or not. Who the hell locks the crappers? That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Okay, nothing there. 
Ooh, more red pages. That's gonna get our futures now technology thingamabobber up. Let's scrap that. Yeah, if you don't know, those blood draw kits are great for uh, getting plastic if you've got them. Go ahead and scrap them. It's like four each or eight each or whatever it ends up being. Now, this is another door. Should be fun. Is this blue? It's probably green again. Let's try blue first. Nope, it is green. Good thing I brought a bunch. Alright, throw those guys down. Come on, fuckers. I got shit to do today. Well, that's the spawner. There's the bag that we need. Gonna let the spawner do its thing. Scrap that. Leave the rest. Just gonna quickly loot this. All these guys respawn here. Well, that's a working. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, you technically make this your base because these blocks are immune to damage, right? It's kind of cheating. A little bit. I think you can go ahead. That's a screamer outside. Those are steel. Oh shit, did I... L I didn't close the door behind me. Which means she could get down here. Uh, she's beating on something up there. It's gonna be fun getting out of here. Ooh, another one back here. Alright, so I don't know... I only knew a little, about this, little bit about this place. I didn't know a lot. Who sounds there? More cards. Shut the door. See if we can get her before she screams. Nice. The problem with being in here like this is that's going to cause uh, screamers to spawn the more weapons we use. Alright, so these lockers are... Ooh! Energy cells? I know these are for lasers. Laser weapons. Come on, multi-tool. I think you can take these apart for titanium too. bit of ammo. Got one working down here. Like, I think these come apart. I don't know how much titanium you get from them. Ten. I mean, it might be worth going through and breaking them all down before we go. There's a shit ton of these guys in here. Should have brought my looter goggles. Although I don't think it's going to make that much difference. Nope. Sounds like somebody broke something. Something in here, probably. run up on me. Now we could destroy that spawner, but like I said, I want to farm a few things here before we do. Now, we did not get a multi-tool. Kind of really disappointed at that. Don't know what else to do here.
Well, we got, what, 129 titanium? Not too bad, I guess. I don't know. I'm really disappointed. So I guess we have to try with tier 5 quests. 14 steel, that's not bad. I mean, we can make a shit ton of it, so I don't have to go ahead and do that, but... Ah, man, I was really hoping. We might get lucky in the loot room back there, I don't know. This would be worth a lot of electrical parts. I'm not worried about that right now. Alright. Come on, fuckers. Screamer. So we might get lucky in here. Not so far. Urban combat, bladed weapon notes we don't need. Alright, come on, be in here. See if we can pick this. Yeah, that's frustrating. So I guess we have to go to Caitlyn today. See if we... Well, the two Caitlyns. And see if we can get the... Uh, I don't know. Maybe she gives us a multi-tool as a reward. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? The reason why I'm worried now... Take those is I cranked up the number of zombies on Horde Knight to 24 for the next Horde Knight, so it should be a really interesting Horde Knight. I want to grab all this stuff, but... We can do a resource run another time. Fuck him. Can't get out because they broke the stairs. It's okay, we're waiting for these guys. Come on, bitches. Got a present for you right here. It's a Bernie. Come on. Don't give a shit if you're on fire or not. You're going down. God damn it. They never do what you want them to do. Now they do, you fucker. He waited for me to get up on the fucking ladder. You saw that, right? Come on, asshole. Oh, hey. They dug pretty quick. All quiet. Will I? Or is it you that's gonna suffer? Sure as fuck ain't gonna be me. I didn't get my multi-tool, I'm pissed. Alright, let's go back to the trader. That's legitimately frustrating. There's got to be more than one of these places. From what I remember of Juudo's playthrough, I think there was more than one of them. Although I don't know where it would be. I'm not going to go back and watch his videos to try and find it. So, maybe we go to that fork in the burnt biome. Take a look. That's a Sorry, I was like staring at this building here and I ran into that. It's kind of an interesting little design. Anyway, I mean, it needs work because it's not painted or has any kind of trimming or fixings or whatever on it, but... Uh, where's our road out of town? Excuse me. Uh, map. Probably easier. Straight this way. 
Minecraft temple. Alright, here we are. That wasn't too bad of a drive. Yeah, this turbo mod, huge difference. Although, I think I'll try it when I just reload back in to see if it's going to cause issues with, like, initial loading. Alright, what's up? Customized fittings I definitely need. 700. I could take that. 800. Let's take this and we'll sell it to somebody. Alright, so we're done here. So then I guess it's just the end game bunker we need to do. Alright, so we can put that on... Um, will you fit on here? We will. You won't? Why won't you? Because it's power armor, that's why. Right. I'm losing mobility because of the power armor. I got better protection, but I'm losing mobility. Which I really don't like. I don't like not having full mobility. Hmm. Let's modify you. Pull out the muzzle brake and put on the silencer. I know that's helping all that much, but it just feels better to have a silencer on it. Okay, let's go to Caitlin then. So, we've got to go, God, way the fuck back there, wait, did I go, how did I get here, I came up from the south, so we're going to go north, right, we'll go, well, that's a lot of, Looking for that uh, well here. I was hoping that it would show up. Like, we were. Where's Joel? Wait a minute. Where the hell am I here? I'm a lot higher up than I thought I was. So we can just go. Interesting, because this is like Jewoodle's old town. We can go... Let's go north. No. Yeah. Because he, she took us to here to do that one quest. So this is the town we want to go to. Let's go north, see where this road leads. Uh, which is going to be that way. To see if it does connect up up there somewhere. Make a swoop around. Uh, go into JW's old town. And then... From there... I think we take a trip out to the wasteland. I'm not really excited about that idea, but I think we should visit the two Caitlins. It, I mean, time permitting. I want to be out there in the middle of the night. Although I guess if I'm on a road, I'm fine. But and I'm, I'm armed to the tits right now too, so it's like I'm not that worried about it. But if we go out there to the Caitlins, hopefully, hopefully she's got a multi-tool. We got one awesome sauce on us. That should be enough. Okay, so this comes up to a town. What town is this? It's another town. Take a quick drive around. You know what? Let's not. Let's just follow the road, see where it takes us. I think if this was earlier in the season, I would take a drive around, look for a trader. But at this point, we're really just looking for the road ends here. Because, of course, it does. We're really just looking for um, that multi-tool. Is it in hidden stashes? Because I know there's three in the bike shop. Uh, 
Uh, let's see who's guarding the bike shop today. You have a Bernie there. Let's go in and take a look here. I think we can probably do this without too much of a problem. I think there's a cop in the... Uh, there's a cop in the main office. And then... Yeah, bitch. Get some. We got a Bernie in there. Let's clear the outside first. Shouldn't take too long. Guy right there. I hate the fact that I gotta use this site. I've been rocking without it in my other playthroughs, like offline playthroughs. Even the two times site I'm finding annoying now. I'm like just using the uh, iron sights, I'm finding better. But I'm not using like I'm I'm not using the coil sniper, I'm just using the Winchester or a regular sniper rifle. Come on. Okay, we got a couple guys in here. on the flank. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Unlocked door. Spells doom for these guys. Oh, fuck. We're gonna destroy that box. It's fine, though. It's only like a... What do you want to call it? A garage box or whatever it is. Doesn't have a lot in it. Boxes we want are up above over there. Just gonna turn this off. Quiet on this side. Okay. Fucking die. Where's our Bernie? Right, there's two of them. Fuck you! They set me on fire. Bastards. Better have something good. Fucking beer, huh? You know I don't drink. Cop in here? No, there usually is. All right, beautiful. Now we can sell that. Now I know there's a backpack behind there. I don't know why I'm doing this. Forget it. Let's just get the boxes and get the fuck out of here. That's just a garage box. Take that. So the one right there. One right there. Okay. I guess I'm not going to find a multi-tool in these boxes. But the last one is up here. Which we can't get to because of the ceiling tack. We can do this though. And we should be able to just kind of like sneak in here. Grab that stash. Might as well grab the Cracker Book stuff while we're here. We could definitely use these. We're very close to getting um, enough pages for another mastery. Which I'm... I don't know what... I think we actually have enough now with these ones. Might as well scrap that too. Um, don't know which one I'm going to grab next. I almost want to do the Farmer for the SMG, but I don't know. That extended magazine might be uh, the way to go with the Hunter. Uh, take... Oops, not gonna work. I know I need plastic too. I just burned 200 plastic putting that turbo mod together. Ooh, repair kit. Take that. Some ammo. Probably shouldn't be doing this and wasting my time. Take the K 
calipers. I gotta put some stuff in the bike. What's this got? Ammo. Battle axe. Which is probably good now because we lost ours in the wasteland. Uh, let's put this here. Then let's go ahead and scrap the battery. Get some, uh, what's it called for it? Nice. Back to it. One hits. Beautiful. What do you got for me? Nothing. I got checked you already. And that's it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, we got three boxes in here. A little big to be sitting on that shelf, don't you think? Okay, we can scrap that. We can scrap that for the lead. Want both of those things. What can we scrap here? Don't need you. Don't need you. Take both of those. Engine we can take. What's this? Auto rifle barrel we want to keep. What don't we want? Um, one glue. Oh, the beer. We don't drink. Um, yeah. Alright, let's drop some shit in the bike here. The stuff we want to keep. So we got to take our gas out. So we want to keep that. These guys. This. This. Ah, ammo. Auto rifle barrel. We could scrap you. I want to keep that. That's for sale. That's for sale. Military chess piece we'll keep. We want to break these down. So we'll take all those with us. That can go in there. These key cards can go back in there for now. Go ahead and use one of you. Put the other one on my tool belt. So we can just drop that. Uh, steel can go in there. You can go in there because we're going to disassemble that later. What else? Paper. Beaker we can sell. Recog we'll hold on to. That can go in there. That can probably go in there. And that can go in there. Alright, let's... Um, not get killed going to the wasteland. That wasn't a bad little raid. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Let's actually do this. So that's where we want to head. Okay, so it's the red flag or south of the red flag is what we're aiming for. So this ain't bad. Let's make some time going through here. Oh, there's our other motorcycle showing up on the map at the top if you look at it. Okay, here's the wasteland. And the town's like right here. I think we've got to still have to drive by that psycho... Uh yeah, we got to drive by the psycho um, portals. This should get us to Caitlin's really, really relatively quickly, though. And hopefully with the turbo mod, we can just blow right past them and not have to worry about it. By the time they see us, we're gone. Maybe. Question is, where is that road now? Okay, railway... Right, I know where I am now. We're right by the endgame bunker. I'm almost tempted to go raid it now, but... Like, there it is right there. But I want to get the multi-tool first. It's like one of those things that I just want to do. We could probably handle that endgame bunker now. I think we got enough ammo and everything on us. It'd be nice if we had, like, all power armor, though, for the armor protection, but... Depending on what's in there... And the choke points that we could we could we could maybe throw up. Um, I think we'd be just fine. Ah, yes, commemorating my death. Death due to death due to game. I don't know. Game buggage or game. I don't want to say inadequacy because it's not inadequate. It's just bugged out. All right, cat. Let's see what she's got for me today. 
Hopefully it's something good. Oh yeah, I forgot about the new door. They were renoing the place. How's it going? I survived from before. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Don't want those, eh? Uh, should I drink the awesome? No, I'm not gonna drink the awesome sauce first. Oh yeah, shit, my money's in the bike. I'm only saving the awesome sauce if we got, uh, which I should probably, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say we should check to see if she's got a multi-tool first before I buy all the shit. She does have an impact driver though. Not very high level. Solar cells. AK receivers, which I might buy. Generic schematics. I'm not seeing it, but we'll double check here in a second. Maybe a good chance to use my grenades today, but whatever. Uh, you don't want those, right? Right. Okay, cool. So, um, let's just type it in. Nope. Regular inventory, which probably won't be there. Nope. Anything I want. I don't... I'm going to buy these two. Just to save me some steel and mechanical parts. we got lots of money. It's They're cheap enough. I should buy all these. But let's go check the other Caitlyn first. We'll Thank come you. back here if... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what she's got. So I've seen some images of the new wasteland in Alpha 22. Looks... Or Alpha 20 as well. It uh, looks pretty cool, actually. They've, they've mixed the uh, burnt biome and the uh, wasteland together. Kind of has a little bit more of a realistic um, look to it now. Whereas this, like, you'd expect this to be all... Have been all one city. Um, but now with the burnt trees and stuff, it just looks a lot better. Alright, now I know there's this another bunker in here. Fucking lightning, go away. I always think it's like Horde Night when that happens. I had to look down, or sorry, look up at the uh, the day to see if it was actually Horde Day. It's not. We still got another four days. We're gonna have to spend a day doing repairs. And then... Like if we get a multi-tool, we can upgrade part of the place to titanium. That would be nice. She's just over here, right? I should put her on the map. I don't know why I didn't, but running this from memory. There we go. Usually if I get to a place once, I can get there again. Alright. Kate 2. Uh, I know I got my stuff in the in the uh, bike, but okay, see your inventory. Oh, you got jobs. Wait, is she considered a faction? I think she is, actually. Okay, we'll sell this stuff off. Want the calipers. Okay. I'll check what you got here. I think our best bet is doing tier 5 buried treasure quest to get this. Fusion Forge again. Let's just double check here. Nope. Oh, you got... Nope. Okay, let's get the money from the bike. You're welcome. Yeah, fuck you too. Um, because I want to buy those schematics. We got a lot of stuff to make. Um, so, let's dump in whatever will go in there. And grab some coin out. Grab this out. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to take to buy them all. I think we do go... Maybe we go Farmer Mastery. So I can just make awesome sauce. Uh, here. This. Let's buy a high level solar cell so we have it. Uh, I don't think there was anything else there that we wanted. Uh, where are the schematics in here now? They're not in here. They're in like household items or some shit like that. Not there. Yeah, 
Hey. No, no extra schematics. 39 is fine, though. All right, well, that's good enough. Let's get the frig out of here. Depending on where we are at on the way home, I might go ahead and stop off and see if we can get some more titanium. I can't, I know I can't use it yet because that friggin' multi-tool. So I think we have, we have to do now, I was really hopeful these past few episodes that completing those initial quests and going to that bunker and all that stuff would get me a multi-tool. I bet you I find one here in here at the end during end game. Well, the end what what I'm planning on for end game like very once we finish the bunker off, I'm going to bring on a 64 max alive zombie horde to attack uh, Trader Jens and then see how we fare, how the base fares. But I want to be upgraded to titanium at that point. Want to see how many hatches those zombies like the uh, beh the behemoths and stuff break through. I'd like to have two junk turrets going, like the sledges going on the walkway. Just knock as many of the idiots off as I can, and then we, all we have to do is deal with the uh, the behemoths and stuff at the door. And then any flyers will have our anti-air... Uh, oh, shit, out of gas. Hey, buddy. Mine laying off till I refuel. Hey. You know, the weird thing is, as I said, I should get the gas out of my bike. It's not full, but good enough. That's plenty to get home. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the, the behemoths and stuff, we just rinse them at the door. Right? We use the coil coil rifle. I have like three or four of them set up. Hopefully they'll all be level 80. All with the same, um, the same uh, mods in them. So as soon as they show up at the door, we just rinse them real fast. And then we've got our fallback points, so we're not going to do any repairs, like I said we won't. So we'll just have the base set up, and if they break through, they break through and that'll be the end. We die horribly and that's it. Uh, let's, um... One thing the car does a good job at is breaking these metal beams going through here. I meant to do that. No worries. Don't panic. It's all part of my plan. Yeah, but they rate like the uh, the demon prince or whatever, and the, the succubuses, the flying succubuses. So I had to worry about, but we'll have our AA defense set up there, and hopefully I'll have enough turrets at that point that even if like a succubus shows up, enough turrets going off and rinsing her real fast. There's our mine. Should be enough to take care of it. Do I want to do this? Ah, uh, no, the sun's going down. Let's get back. I don't want to be out here in the middle of the night. The screamer shows up and then calls a screamer hard, we could be in trouble. But yeah, so... Um, we should be able to rinse those... Like, if we have enough turrets set up, we should be able to kill the succubuses pretty fast. And then, if the... If, like, regular demons show up, hopefully we got enough firepower to rinse those. Hopefully they get punted off the bridge, too. I'm not sure exactly how resilient they are. Um... I know those little night gaunts, the night terrors, are pretty much immune to being punted off. The behemoths and the radiated behemoths will be immune to being punted off. I have a feeling that the uh, those demon princes or whatever they are, they're going to be immune to being punted off. So it'd be interesting to see if the radiated zombies get punted. Perfect. But I want to have like a laser at that point too, right? So we can strip the uh, regen qualities of the demons from the window so we can shoot them a few times focus on the big guys um, but then hopefully they'll take damage from the spikes and from the um, take damage from the spikes and from the sludge turrets I want to start putting like uh, rad removers in the sledge turrets um, what else there's a couple of other things I wanted to drop in there I can't remember if the weighted head oh this guy Sorry, he, he just deserved my attention. We passed by him too many times to leave him on the road now. He was just looking sad. Uh, so yeah, I don't think the uh, weighted head mods works in the, the, the sledge turret, but if it does, that'd be great. Yeah, there's Nightfall. And we're out of the, out of the uh, wasteland. 
but yeah so hopefully the um, those will work on the turrets I know the rate the uh, rad removers work I know the um, NICAD uh, uh, the thing we have in our shotgun the uh, electrical uh, electric charge things work on them as well so we could throw that on just to, to uh, delay zombies from getting back up add a little bit of damage so at least the um, radiated set that are coming up and getting punted off or taking damage as they fall. Uh, what else? Yeah, so I think that should do it. With the double, like with the double uh, sludge turrets operating at full speed, most of the idiot zombies won't get through. They'll end up on the ground. Although with 64 max alive, there's going to be so many of them that I mean they're they're bound to get through. We just rinse them at the door. We got three plates. I have an idea what I want to do with the with the um, wow that's impressive. What I want to do with the electric fence mods, but it's going to require tunneling under where we're existing, like the existing base as it is right now. So that's a major reno I think I'll do after the next horde night. But I want to run them up from the from the ground, and of course we're not loaded fast enough. It's the fault of this turbo. It's not loading fast enough. Ooh. That's what I was looking for. Huh. Figures. Should have picked that up before. Ow. I want the ski goggles because it adds to my mobility. Let's just throw those on. Gives me temper plus 10% 10 mobility. Okay, gas you up. Take that out. Put the gas back in. Is it much? Yeah, that's better. What's our mobility at now? Come on. 91. Yeah, see, without those goggles on, we're at 81%, which to me is just too slow. You've got to be a little faster. Close, aren't yeah, I'm always cutting it close. You know that, Jen. Uh, can you buy some of this gack off me that I don't want? Like that. Apparently not. What about this? Sure. Sounds fucked up too. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, I think that's it. Now I don't think you got multi-tool. I don't think you actually have the ability to sell them either. You got 12 schematics though. Oh, two awesome sauces. Let's buy those. 12 schematics. I mean, I'm just going to buy them outright. Now. Uh, I think it's here or here yeah here buy those two we have a fair bit of coin so we have a tier 4 mission for you already I think right we've got a tier 4 clear so let's cancel that because I want to do as many as we possibly can as quickly as we can um, so we want fetches oh we are in tier 5 already That's southwest. We always need someone to handle the tough jobs. Circus. Let's go to the circus tomorrow. I had a good feeling about you. Yeah, did you? Good luck. Let's go to the circus tomorrow. So we're on tier five now, so as long as we can get tier five buried treasures. Let's talk to the guy up here, get our light back on so we can see what we're doing. I really need to get some lights in here. Oh, I had these guys, but they're not because they're powered by that. That's why. Right. All right. Uh, do you have any jobs? Tier fives. Fetches. Anything southwest? Clear zombies southwest. What's this guy? For oh, the circus. Balance. Forget it, man. Okay, maybe next time. Safe travels, friend. West, east. That's a clear. I have a task for you, friend. Lakeside Lodge. If you're interested. God we'll take that one. Alright, I'm going to get this stuff put away. And then, next episode, we're going to go and see if we can complete some of these Tier 5 quests. Actually, I should probably cancel both of those. And see if tomorrow... Wait, is it the next day already? I think it is. What time is it? No, it's not. 
So I'm going to cancel these quests and, new goods daily. and see if tomorrow we can get tier 5 as much as I want to go to that circus. But I think we should really be focusing on um, getting the buried supplies, hopefully getting that multi-tool. So I'm going to cancel these two. Maybe it'll come up again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.